Let's see the characteristics of ammonia. You have learned this in chapter 7, uh, acids and bases. This one, this one just a revision. So. And we know that ammonia is alkali. It's a weak alkali. And all alkali can react with acid to produce what? Alkali react with acid to produce what? Salt and water. Okay. Uh, so you see we have sulfuric acid with ammonia. Then you get ammonium sulfate. Uh, nitric acid with ammonia, you get uh, ammonium nitrate, okay, and uh, phosphoric acid with ammonia, you get ammonium phosphate, okay. Actually, one of the products is water, but uh, we do not include water in the equation. Eh? Actually, the products is water. Uh, that is the characteristics of ammonia. Ammonia can dissolve in water to produce uh, ammonium ions and hydroxide ions, eh? okay. And these hydroxide ions can react with uh, most of the positive ions to produce uh, hydroxide, okay? Magnesium with hydroxide to get magnesium hydroxide, and then we get iron hydroxide, aluminum hydroxide. And then so all these hydroxide are insoluble in water, so therefore, therefore, they will produce precipitate. If you still remember last lesson, uh, last chapters, salt. We learned that the positive ions can react with ammonia to produce precipitate. And the colors of the precipitate depends on the colors of the positive ions. And then you also need to know which precipitate will dissolve in excess ammonia. So we have discussed this in previous chapter, salts. Eh? Okay. So ammonia can react with the positive ions to produce uh, hydroxide. And this hydroxide, most probably, most of the hydroxide uh, is a precipitate. It's a precipitate. Eh? So that is uh, characteristics of ammonia. So testings for ammonia. Ammonia is the only common alkaline gas. Most of other gas is either acidic or neutral. But ammonia is alkaline. So if, if it's alkaline, that is very easy for us to test, right? Because just one, one gas is alkaline. Eh? So we just use a moist red limus paper. And then some... Uh, you insert these limus papers into this ammonia gas, and then the, the red limus paper will turn blue. Uh, so that is the first test. And you can also test it by using concentrated ammonia. Uh, concentrated ammonia with concentrated hydrochloric acid. Eh? Because uh, when this uh, concentrated ammonia react with concentrated hydrochloric acid, they will produce white film. It's like a white smoke. Eh? Okay, white film or white smoke. That is because when ammonia gas, okay, this one is ammonia gas. Huh? So ammonia gas react with hydro hydrogen chloride gas. This is concentrated hydrochloric acid. Eh? Then it produces uh, ammonium chloride. This ammonium chloride is a solid. It's a solid. Eh? Okay, so therefore it produces white film. So, uh, so this is another test eh, for ammonia. First, first one we use moist red limus paper. Second one, we use uh, concentrated hydrochloric acid to, to test the presence of ammonia. Uses of ammonia. First, it is used to uh, manufacture fertilizer. Same as uh, sulfuric acid, right? So ammonia is used to, in producing fertilizer such as ammonium sulfate. Uh, so this ammonium sulfate is a fertilizer. Second, Ammonia is used to produce nitric acid. Eh? It's to produce nitric acid in uh, Oswald's process. So nitric acid is made by the catalytic oxidations of ammonia over heated platinum. The catalyst that we use is platinum. Eh? Okay, so we heat ammonia with this uh, oxygen. Eh? We heat ammonia with oxygen to produce uh, nitric acid. So, uh, but as I told you just now, right, uh, you don't. Uh, really need to know the whole process. You just need to know that we produce nitric acid by using ammonia and the name of this process is called the Oswald's process. And you need to remember the catalyst use, uh, the catalyst use in this process. And uh, nitric acid is very useful, okay? It's used to uh, make fertilizer first. It can use to make fertilizer and then uh, it can use to make uh, explosive. Okay, the TNT, yeah, explosive. We'll discuss Ammonia is also used to produce uh, explosive. I will discuss that later. So ammonia is used to produce fertilizer. It can be used to produce nitric acid. Okay, it can be used as the coolant in a refrigerator. Cooling agent, the cooling agents. 
Uh, that is because ammonia has low melting point and hence very volatile. Volatile means that it can evaporate easily. Eh? It can evaporate very fast easily. If it can evaporate very fast, then uh, evaporations absorb heat. In refrigerators, we use ammonia. Okay, we spray ammonia to make it evaporate, then it absorb heat. Eh? And if it absorb heat, then it will make the temperatures of the uh, these are refrigerators to go down. So this, that's why uh, ammonia is used as the cooling agent eh, in refrigerator. Okay, and then uh, it is used to prevent the coagulations of latex. You are going to learn this in Form 5 as well, eh, Chapter 2, coagulations of latex. Latex, eh. latex coagulates, okay? Latex actually is the rubble milk. Eh? It's the, the rubble, the, the liquid rubble, okay? The rubble milk. Uh, it will coagulate if there is acid, okay, if there's acid. So we use uh, ammonia to neutralize the acid, and therefore we can prevent the coagulations of the latex. So ammonia is used to prevent the coagulations of latex. You see, uh, this latex actually is already coagulated. Eh? Okay. Or else it's liquid, but now it's solid already, right? Solids means that it already coagulated. Eh? So coagulations of latex means that it's a solidify of the uh, latex. Uh, other than prevent coagulations, um, it, it is used to produce ammonium chloride. Okay, Ammonium chloride is the electrolyte used in dry cell. Eh? The electrolyte used in dry cell, ammonium chloride. And uh, it's a very useful chemical in industry. Eh? Okay, other than so as an electrolyte, there's a lot of other uses. Eh? Okay, uh, other than to produce ammonium chloride, then uh, okay. We can use ammonia to make explosive TNT. TNT is a trinitro toluene. Trinitro toluene. So TNT is one of the most commonly used explosive for militaries and industrial applications. So that are the uses of ammonia.